In a surprising move, Russia has adapted its KH-59 guided missiles with unconventional modifications to address growing resource shortages. Recent images shared by the Telegram channel at Colonel GSH reveal that Russian forces are deploying KH-59 MK missiles where the active radar homing head, ARGSN U-559, has been replaced with a weight and dimension mock-up. This substitution helps maintain the missile's balance and aerodynamic stability, allowing it to be used in strikes on Ukraine, albeit with reduced precision. The KH-59 MK is a long-range air-to-surface missile, developed to engage large radar-visible targets, such as ships with radar cross-sections over 300 square meters. The missile's range has been extended to 285 kilometers, and it is compatible with a wide range of Russian aircraft, including the Su-30MK, Su-32, and MiG-35. Flying at speeds of up to 1,050 km per hour, the KH-59MK is designed for adverse weather conditions and high sea states, yet these modified versions now rely solely on satellite and inertial navigation systems, leaving them vulnerable to electronic interference from Ukrainian defenses. The radar head, ARGSN, is one of the most costly and complex components of the KH-59 missile. By using a simple metal substitute, Russia preserves these limited resources at the expense of targeting accuracy, especially in the missile's final flight phase. Without radar guidance, the missile's vulnerability to jamming significantly increases, particularly as Ukraine's electronic warfare capabilities continue to advance. Notably, these modified missiles also lack the Comet Satellite Communication Module, which provides a level of resistance to jamming in other Russian weapons like the Shahid-136 drones. Without it, the KH-59 missiles lose additional precision in high-interference environments. One of the missile's primary engines, the P-95-300, is supplied by the Ukrainian company Motorsich. Russia has continued sourcing these engines from Soviet-era stockpiles or by dismantling other missile models, underscoring its dependency on limited, outdated resources. Since the start of the invasion in 2022, Russia has routinely launched KH-59 missiles at Ukrainian infrastructure, targeting both military and civilian sites. However, these attacks are often countered by Ukraine's growing air defense capabilities. In October 2023, Ukrainian forces intercepted two KH-59 missiles and 11 Shahid drones in a single night. Current data shows that around 22% of KH-59, KH-35, and KH-31 guided missiles launched by Russia have been intercepted, a figure impacted by the logistical challenges of deploying air defenses close to the front line. This tactic of using mock-ups isn't unique to the KH-59. In March, Ukrainian forces shot down a KH-55 SM missile equipped with a nuclear decoy, likely intended to activate air defenses and divert attention from armed missiles. The Ukrainian general staff also noted a pattern of using KH-55 SM missiles with simulated warheads as early as December 2022, reflecting a broader Russian strategy of deploying decoys to manage resource shortages while continuing to pressure Ukrainian defenses. This adaptive approach signals a complex resource management strategy by Russia, reflecting the realities of sustaining precision-guided missile production amid logistical hurdles. As both sides continue to adjust their tactics, electronic warfare and air defenses are set to play a critical role in determining the effectiveness of these adapted weapons in Ukraine.